cyber threats keep evolving. And in August, or this August, analysts uncovered a new phishing as a service framework called Salty 2FA, designed to bypass two-factor authentication and evade detection. It's more than just a credential stealer. I believe it is a sophisticated operation. In this video, I will unravel Salty 2FA's unique execution chain, evasion strategies, behavioral signatures, and of course, how cybersecurity teams can fight back using platforms such as anyone's sandbox and threat intelligence lookups. Salty 2FA is a newly discovered phishing as a service. It's similar in concept to malware as a service and ransomware as a service, as we have seen in Luma Stealer and other ransomwares. This framework delivers phishing via email. Primarily, it targets, as we have witnessed, Microsoft 365 users. And it's designed to bypass various two-factor authentication methods, including push, SMS, and voice. Unlike Tycoon 2FA and Evil Proxy we have seen earlier, Salty 2FA leverages a distinct domain infrastructure pattern and multi-stage execution chain to evade static detection. Analysts flagged it or flagged its usage across industries such as finance, telecom, energy consulting, uh, maybe even logistics and education in the US and EU. The unique aspect about the Salty 2FA is that there are unusual domain pairings. pairings. For example, compound.com subdomains such as .it.com or .da.com paired with .ru domains. These combinations or this combination subdomain dot main dot a country extension or a country tld dot com alongside RU domains was actually unusual and previously undocumented. Refined threat intelligence queries confirmed this domain pairing recurred across phishing activity, but actually it wasn't yet fully integrated into detection systems, which left what we call as a coverage gap. Okay, now let's have a look at the first attack scenario of Salty 2 FA. First, let's go through the stages of the first URL. So it's worth mentioning that the URL here on the right was submitted to anyone's uh, sandbox. And this is the exact URL that was spotted in the in Salty 2 fa campaign. So upon opening the URL, okay, we notice that it redirects to completely different URL. It changed now into telephony next trade Italy So Basically, we see this looks like an Italian domain because it ends with it and then .com. And then if we check next, we can see that after the verification is successful using Cloudflare, uh, we are now seeing a Microsoft sign-in form. Now, this Microsoft sign-in form looks exactly the same uh, sign-in form of Microsoft, the same original one when you want to sign into your Microsoft or Outlook account. However, how do we find out that this is a phishing? We have to look at the URL. You see the URL looks very much different from Microsoft. So that's the first classic sign that this is a phishing attack. Next, if we click on the IOC or indicators of compromise button, anyone or anyone lists all the IOCs that are related to the attack, including the hashes, the domains, and the IP addresses. Now you can see we have five DNS requests when the URL was opened. We see a DNS request to the original URL, app.sanitech.com, and then we see another one to innovationsteams.com, and then we have another one to marketplace24ei.ru. This confirms the theory that salty 2 fa at the end points to or exfiltrates the uh, phishing data back to a Russian domain, ends with ru. Then we have a query to nextrateitaly.com. This is the exact domain that a host is the fake sign in form. And then we have telephony.next.rateitaly.com, which is the subdomain we saw earlier. And then we have the IP addresses. Now, the next step you have to do is to blacklist all these domains and IP addresses in your uh, IDS or firewall because you don't want any of your employees to end up looking at this form. Most people fall for this, unfortunately, in 2025. Uh, another thing I want to say here is if you want to reanalyze the session on your own, you can just, uh, I will put the link in the video description where you can click on restart and from here you can tweak the settings of your analysis session you can choose chrome or firefox instead of edge you can change the operating system of course now all of this you can do it after you sign up with your business email or sign a new URL. it's obvious now let's have a look at the second attack scenario on the second attack scenario the phishing email that was created using salty 2fa came 
directly to the inbox of the target. You see, it is started as review request 2025 payment correction. Upon inspecting the message, we see it, there is a document or an attachment named 2025 remittance adjustment. And below the document or the, below the attachment, we see uh, a button to review the document. So you can either download the document or you can review it online. Of course, for convenience, people would click on the review document to view it online. Okay. Upon clicking on the review document, we see now we have a similar page to the one we saw earlier. Verify that you are a human. Why this is not actually a sign of phishing attack if you see uh, a bot verification? Because this is actually uh, used across the web to verify that to verify the, the uh, human nature of uh, the person who's trying to access the page. However, the, the unique aspect of this is the URL. You see the URL looks like it is not familiar nickgardley.frankfurtwebs.com.de and then if you continue with the URL we see now it displays a Microsoft sign-in form now why this is phishing because again why the form or the sign-in form looks exactly the same one or the same original one from Microsoft the link looks very much fake it is not a link that you see in uh, while you are browsing Microsoft pages now if we want to have a look at the multi-stage execution analysis first we will notice that a downloaded page from domains like this link runs off a scripted javascript we call it trampoline code it initializes cloudflare turnstile retrieves a cf response token and then fetches the next obfuscated payload that's the stage one in stage two the decoded payload points to a .ru domain on the russian domain uh, for example we have here is marketplace 24ai.ru containing a large html with hidden noise and an obfuscated login form. A header input field contains a page 64 encoded URL to another phishing page. And in stage 3, client side logic built in with the jQuery uses dynamically generated element IDs. These are encoded via page 64 on XOR, as we see, such as to make static analysis harder. Victim inputs get exfiltrated according to that scheme. And in stage 4, where we see the uh, active bypass of two-factor authentication, the storing credentials and the two FA codes are sent via POST request to the uh, RU endpoints, encoded of course in request and session parameters. And a dedicated session key helps decode the data uh, server side. Now that's the multi-stage execution chain. Now let's talk about the attribution. While sold to 2FA overlaps with known kits or known phishing kits we saw earlier such as storm 1575 and storm 1747 in some ROCs in reality salty 2fa is more distinct we saw domain overlaps that's correct but there is no definitive attribution yet white activity seems to have picked up in june 2025 though early row variants may date back to march april the confirmed activity has been seen since late july 2025 with dozens of new sandbox sessions appearing daily on any run okay now let's talk about how to detect salty 2fa in reality static indicators of compromise like domain lists cannot keep pace with evolving phishing kits salty 2fa teaches us detection must fo must focus on behavioral patterns domain structure pairings execution chaining obfuscation routines payload delivery and data exfiltration over specifically saying are you endpoints uh, Online platforms like Anyone's Interactive Sandbox allow SOC teams to observe behavior in real time, uncover hidden infrastructure, and feed these patterns into threat intelligence platforms. Leveraging TI lookup in Anyone, SOC teams can query domains using refined patterns to highlight similar malicious activity. At the end, salty to fa is a reminder. Phishing threats are sophisticated, adaptive, and bypassing even complex defenses like 2FA. To stay protected, security teams must shift from static indicators to behavioral detection, sandbox analysis, and collaborative threat intelligence. I recommend you guys to explore Anyone's sandbox and TI lookup to stay ahead because in cybersecurity, understanding the threat behavior is everything. Thank you for watching.